What is up guys? I'm Jay Dubbin. Today we're up here at the gun range and we're not checking traps today, but I've had a bunch of y'all guys that have taken a lot of interest in the 32 caliber score gun. So we're going to develop a load for it today. I'm going to walk y'all through step by step what I do to develop this load and uh, just kind of let y'all see trial and error, see what types of groups you can get at this. Right now we're shooting at, I believe this is 32 yards or, or 36 yards, my bad, not 32, 36 yards. It's a really odd how they got this thing laid out it's kind of kind of strange but so we're going to uh head on out we're gonna get this thing set up i'm gonna show y'all how we load the gun step by step it's gonna be kind of a long video kind of tedious but guys if you're into the 32 caliber score rifle uh then you should enjoy it so let's get to it all right y'all so i'm gonna show y'all how we how we're gonna load this we're gonna be starting off kind of on the high end of the scale 30 grains of powder that's the max charge for this gun be starting off with that grouping it see how it does i don't imagine it's going to group really well with it but 30 grains of powder let me get y'all in close maybe you can see powder in all right guys and you can put your patch on top and you can put your sprue which is where we cut the ball off right there on top try to get everything centered up the best you can Run that down with your ball starter and range rod. That's it. That's ready to go. I forgot to bring my powder horn or my priming horn, so we'll be priming out of this. Let me get some earplugs in, and this is ready to go. <laughs> shot number one I say y'all be able to see it down there y'all can see it probably before I can all right guys we're gonna get loaded up take another shot and I might move the camera to get y'all out of some of that light okay. getting a little delay All right, guys, let's do shot three. I'll go check. No, I, I can see it. All right, let's go take a look. All right, guys, so as y'all saw already, we're hitting a little bit low left. Fairly tight group, not the best, kind of what I expected. So we're gonna move this up to 25 and take a few more shots with it. All right, let's get it loaded up again. Almost looks like we might have hole for hole on that one. Huh. One more shot. I want these. All right, let's go check. All right, guys, so you definitely were shooting low, but we're stringing, but we're staying fairly close to center. Where on these, we were coming off to the side. So we're gonna take these down, put up a new target. This will be our 20 grain target. Readjust this. Oh. All right. Hopefully, I didn't have a delay. Oh, that one was real low. I might have pulled that one. We'll have to see. It's my first time using the shoot and see targets. The only reason I bought them was because I wanted y'all guys to be able to see kind of what we were doing. Hopefully that was just a bad shot. All right. I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Pretty sure that first shot was just me, guys. But we'll go ahead, we'll swab a bore real quick. There we go. Got some of that fouling out of there. Little delay on that one. We're gonna take two more shots of that one. This one's stringing a little bit. So, two more shots. I think that one's strung a little bit. Let's run a patch down the bore. All right, guys, let's go take a look, see what it looks like. All right, guys, so I'm, if I remember correctly, this is my first shot, second shot, third, fourth, fifth. I'm not 100% sure. Y'all guys will know more than me, but not not bad, not great. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll definitely have to move it, see what if it's in, even in the runnings. Right now, it doesn't. This little group, I'm not too, I'm happy with this, but these two, I'm not, so... We might play around with this load a little bit more because it, it seems like it might do all right. All right, guys, so we're going to redo that 30 grain charge. Uh, I'm not real happy with it. It wasn't the last one we did, but the first one that we, we did. And I just want to make sure I had everything on this powder flash set right. Dead straight under the middle. So far that 30 grain charge is definitely shooting pretty well. Let's go see what that looks like. All right, so I had a flyer down there at the bottom. I don't know if I pulled it. That last shot had a little delay, but I didn't think it was enough that we're gonna, we're just gonna redo that shot. Maybe I didn't have something in the powder right, or maybe that ball had an issue. I don't, I don't really know. It's kind of odd that ball would shoot that far off. I don't know guys, they started out grouping pretty tight. Let's swab this bear real quick, <laughs> just to get that out. Make sure it's not just a dirty barrel. All right, now let's go look at it. <laughs> All right guys, so this is a more accurate, I would say, of what that, that shot does. Still not great. Not great at all, but we're going to go ahead and set one more up. This will be our last couple shots with it, and uh, hopefully we can come up with a fairly tight group. I'll show you all the results at the end. You can tell. Guys, that's a uh, 10 grain charge, and I can already tell that thing is a, uh, it's not going to shoot work really well. I just don't think we're getting the velocity in it. You can tell we're not really breaking the sound barrier. It's just kind of a crack, or not, doesn't have the crack to it. We're going to shoot two more, but 10 grains, I don't think it's enough. 
clean all that. Yeah, guys, 10 grains definitely isn't it. All right, let's go see what it looks like. All right, guys, so, uh, 10 grains might have might have been the best shot. I just, it's not real reliable and how well it shoots. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let's shoot it one more, just, just to be sure. Just one more shot. All right, guys, so you can see, that 10 grains is, it, it's not reliable enough for me to hunt with. All right, guys, so we're gonna try to kind of do this in order. This is our 10 grain target, you can see. These up here are pretty nice, but it is not reliable enough for me to hunt with. It doesn't group really well. And then you come up here to our 15 grain target. They're in the middle but they, they, they're stringing on me. That could be the fact of the gun fouling, I'm not sure. We'll have to do this again where we actually clean it really well in between each shot. And then we've got our 20 grain target, which shot grouped right in the middle pretty well. And uh, it's a little low. This gun's consistently shooting low, so I might have to do some work with the front sight. And here is our 25 grain target, which once again, not a bad group, but a little off to the side. I can't, I don't like off to the side. I can deal with up and down, holding up and down a little bit, but off to the side gets, uh, gets tricky for me. But I believe we'll be hunting with either this 15 or this uh, 20, 20 grain load. Either one of those seem to be really good, seem to group decently well. All right, guys, if y'all got something out of this video, go ahead, hit the thumbs up for me. Leave a comment if you've got any questions or, hey, if you just want to say hi. Make sure you hit that bell notification button because we'll be doing a lot more videos just like this. I love black powder hunting and I love to go out and plink with black powder firearms. Guys, make sure you check right up here. I think it's up here. One of these two. I'll have a card pop up and that is a giveaway that I'm doing. That video has to have a thousand views and uh, 100 thumbs up and I think right now we're right around 150 views so guys we really need to get that number up remember take someone outdoors